Hello. So, what I will be doing today is I will be explaining how to move, to get ETH from layer 1 to layer 2 and how to use it on Token Trove. So this is Immutable X, this is what Token Trove is built on. And right now I have a MetaMask with 0.5 ETH. Um, but I also have down here, I have this IMX token. So IMX token, it's different than... Uh, like layer two Ethereum, so don't get IMX confused with layer two. So I bought this because I believe in IMX, uh, but I didn't buy this for any layer two ETH. So layer two ETH and IMX token, they're different things. Um, so right here, this is uh, Gods Unchained. Uh, this is called Token Trove. It's a premier marketplace on Immutable X. And down over here, there's a few games and whatnot. And there's also TikTok moments, but I'm going to focus on Gods Unchained right now, and um, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to just buy one of these, and I'll list it back up, and I'll sell it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to move ETH on Layer 2, and then off Layer 2. I don't, I don't know if we can do off. I, I don't know if I have enough gas. So if you look at my uh, wallet, right, up here I have the MetaMask. It shows it's connected to it. That's because um, I just made sure that, like, this whole button's clicked connected, and then now it's connected to the site. If you look in here, you'll see that all my accounts are actually connected to the site as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump up here. Um, this is my wallet address. Um, I'm actually just gonna uh, create an Immutable X account. So it brings up this little tab. And then this is basically the entire thing. So it connect your wallet, that's all it is. Okay, so I'm gonna click uh, Mint Virus. Okay, connect. Just connecting to layer two. Just click sign in. Yep, sign. And set up an immutable X key. I agree. Set up. Uh, yep. And set up complete. Yep. This will this window will appear each time you make a transaction on immutable X. Only sign requests. Finish. So there you go. Now it's connected. So basically now I could move stuff around. That's, I believe, what that is, right? So now I have an Immutable X account with this wallet. Um, so then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deposit some ETH. Deposit ETH. I'm going to pick, let's go to deposit. I don't have a lot of ETH rolling around, but I'm going to move some ETH. Probably gonna take me a bunch of ETH. Oh, yeah. So I'm depositing. I'm gonna keep two. So, uh, how much will it cost me in point one? I'll have enough for one gas fee. Yeah, okay. So moving two hundred bucks over, I'll I'll spend sixty in the transaction, and I'll have some ETH on on layer two. So. It takes a bit to move over, but once it's there, okay, um, let's just tr do a refresh on that. So now I have, uh, I have 0 0.07 in my, ooh, this account got, bam, that got nerfed. It's all right. Let's refresh. I should have some IMX ETH. Let's grab this random card. Go Golden Wing Sphinx. Let's click buy. Do not have enough ETH on Immutable X. So let's refresh this again. I probably need to wait until it... Uh, pick lowest price. So... I'll pick at least something with that looks like it has price movement. Okay, probably not too far in lowest prices. Okay, so these are just cards that are not good. Let's go at least a five. Oh. There are some cards that are just not good. And these are cards that are ludicrous, like Teddy Wild. Let's pick newly listed, why not? High fluctuation of prices, still do not have enough ETH on Immutable X. My account.
Did I just lose ETH? No way. Okay, I'm getting worried. Really? Deposit ETH. Take less. Ah, okay. So depositing usually takes less than 15 minutes, but occasionally takes longer. I've been freaking out about this. It's okay. So now it's just about waiting and then watching the ETH move over and then, but it's, I gotta admit, it's a little bit uh, nerve wracking watching one of these things go down. So, um, so yeah, uh, basically now I'm just gonna be waiting for 15 minutes. Um, uh, I can show you another th cool thing about Token Trove and Mutable X. Uh, if I bring down, so there's also this app called Immutable, and this app comes up with a game. So I'll launch it right now while we're waiting for the uh, for the launch of this thing, for me getting my ETH back. So this game is called um, Gods Unchained. So this. Um, it's a game that hooks up to Immutable X. So it goes to the marketplace, you can buy sell cards. The one thing I haven't discovered yet is how to move my, um, oh, there's a, do there's a dollar gods token. That's interesting. Um, apparently there's a way to collections. I don't know how to sell my packs. Like, I have cards here. I just don't know how to sell cards. So, owned. Like, I just don't know how to sell any cards. Like, I can go to the workshop. But, like, this is kind of similar to Hearthstone. I, I actually think the layout of this is worse in many ways. Like... The, the the program's kind of slow. There's like, the great I'm hearing a sound, but like, oh, that's still up. Select the wallet with dollar gods and we're. Huh? So maybe there's a this is a thing where you can issue new cards. I don't know why this is taking forever. Let's take a look to see if it's back. Ah, cool. So, uh, if I edit it, I may not. Um, I'm just going to do a quick cut. Um, so, it, I was really worried, uh, but it turns out that there's a thing that for 15 minutes... Uh, it usually the transaction usually takes 15 minutes. I got really worried there because it didn't see it instantly move over. But now that um, now that my point uh, zero three ETH has been moved over, I'll jump into uh, one of the projects and I'll just show you how to transact with some layer two Ethereum. So let's uh, these are all the projects. Let's take a look. Uh, Gods Unchained. So. These are a bunch of objects you can get for the game. Um, uh, none of this seems interesting. It's a chest. Interesting. Where are the cards? This isn't right. Oh, there's a different set for the objects and different set for the cars. That's interesting. So, 
If you go by lowest price, you get some weird stuff. So I'm going to go by newly listed. I think newly listed shows like volatile card markets. So I think I'm looking just at this kind of graph and I'm trying to see something that like maybe at some point has a spike. I'm going to just click buy. So I bought it for a 0 0.0000046. Um, so I'm buying it for 0 00433. Okay. So the I'm buying it below the average. Okay. And then I'm going to buy it, then I'm going to list it. So, yeah. See, the thing is, I think it takes a bit of time. List. See, that's the thing. It's not instantaneous the way that it transacts over. So if I look at my account, oh, that's interesting. So I go to my account. Okay, that was very quick. I had to refresh the page. That's what it is. Okay. That's fast. Huh. Okay. So then I go 0. Point zero 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 uh four that's more than uh and i list it confirm sign finish it's listed so just buying and flipping it maybe i'll try to do uh like a, th a thing where i start from like or maybe i'll go through and i'll say okay uh, I don't understand why it still says I have 0 0.03 ETH. Maybe how much is 0 point? A hundred US dollars. Uh, let's try CAD. 140. So to go from 150 to 150,000. I've seen a video where this guy took $30 and try, is trying to turn it to 100,000. Um, and I'm going to try to do this using layer two and these systems. Although I will get a crazy bump to one account because I get, I'm going to get 15 book game tokens. Um, I got plenty of books. Um, but I do think that it'd be interesting just to have one account that's like dedicated to just trying to do this little thing where you just buy it, then relist it for higher, and then just try to do that cycle. Now, I think it's going to be interesting because I'll need to, I'll actually need to play the game to understand it because, um, like that like draw cards pretty good on on a two mana thing like i know card games very well so that that could be a thing but for anybody that wants to transact that's how you do a full transaction on layer two um yeah i hope you uh i hope that was beneficial if you have any more questions shoot me a message uh comment um so i'd be glad to help anyways hope this is helpful see ya